It was kind of this rainy in Puerto Rico when I was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Warmer. Where are you from? Uh, Millbridge, Maine. What was your first break? My first job was an episode of Spin City, but I was cut out of it. But I would say probably my first break was the puffy chair. What have you been in? What have I been in? Uh, notably, I was in The Office and The League. Those are like the two things that people are like, you're that girl from those things and some other things. But no one knows me as that girl. How do you feel about this career? It's great. I feel like I am living the dream. And I said that sarcastically, and I don't mean it sarcastically. I mean it genuinely. How did you decide to become an actor? Um, I'm the youngest of four kids. And I think that just happens to us sometimes. I'm like the youngest by far. And so um, we would be at like the dinner table and they'd all be talking like politics over my head. And then my seat was like staring at a, at a, at a like a sliding glass door, which at night had a full reflection. And so I would take like the napkins and wrap them around my head and like make babushkas and like create these weird characters to like entertain myself, I guess. How would you describe your specialty or type? Um, my specialty or type? Uh, I don't know. I seem to, I don't know if I have one. I think I'm probably like the approachable girl who's like cute but not too pretty <laughs> you know it's, I'm like not threatening I'm right <laughs> I don't know who is your favorite actor who you look up to Meryl Streep what would your ideal job be working with Meryl Streep do you consider yourself to be lucky yeah very what advantages do you have you know, I have a family who loves me tremendously, so even if I fail or fell flat on my face, they would still love me. So I think that makes it easier to do what I do. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? I'm going to give a controversial answer and say car, because I believe that I can read all the books in the world and educate myself in that way and that diplomas are sort of like test based and not as important but I need a car to get to my library <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the need for instant gratification uh, I think it makes us impatient and um, I don't like it how do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming I think it's a double edged sword I think that in a lot of ways it's amazing and that um, we can just press a button and, and know what's happening on the other side of the world and I think um, the flip side of that that can give people extreme anxiety and I think that's really hard. What does the future look like to you? Challenging. How do you feel about having children? I feel like I have two of them. <laughs> So I feel like it's my reality. Um, and I'd say, you know, it's overwhelming and inspiring and overwhelming. <laughs> what, and inspiring, but overwhelming. What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Um, division and anger and lack of understanding and lack of empathy. Um, and I think everyone's having a hard time hearing people, a hard time listening. What are you most grateful for? So much. My health, my family's health, my friends, um, that I get to do what I do where we get to do it, that I get to walk down the street and not feel like my liberties are threatened, you know? I don't know that I get to make dumb jokes for a living. Um, I get to play dress up all the time and um, that my parents tell me that they're proud of me. I don't know, all that stuff. What is your favorite way to communicate? Mm, I prefer talking over a bottle of wine, which is how we should have done this interview. <laughs> What is your favorite book, film, and music right now? My favorite book right now 
is um, a book called Fates and Furies. And my favorite movie is probably Always Tootsie. And my favorite music, I'm, I'm sort of digging back into Chet Faker and enjoying it.